Ken Spector with Happy Cow, and we're here in London, England at VegFest London 2017. I'm here with Camelia, and she is a local Londoner, and she's also vegan. So tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been vegan, Camelia? Um, I've been vegan for five years now. Oh, wow. I'm vegetarian when I was eight, and then decided to make the move to veganism. Terrific, terrific. Yep. And you were here at VegFest last year. How does this VegFest compare to last year's VegFest? Um, I think it's even better, it's even bigger. We've got more stalls here. There are so many cooked food stalls, um, so much exciting stuff going on, so many more people. Did you have any amazing food here that really blew your mind? Um, I think Happy Mackey. I had one of their sushi rolls. It was like a sweet potato and um, vegan chicken type sushi roll that was okay. really big. It was great. Okay. And any other booze besides the food booze that you thought were really cool? Any speeches that you might have seen? Um, yeah, I went to an award show actually. Oh, you did? And who won an award? One? Really? <laughs> so Happy Cow won the best online resource. Yes, I can believe it. <laughs> great. London was the first city on Happy Cow to break 100 vegan restaurants. There are now 103 vegan restaurants in London. How do you feel having lived here or lived through that? What was it like five years ago versus 2017? Um, I think five years ago it was quite difficult. I used to go in places and people would be like, what does vegan even mean? Yeah. And now I can go in anywhere, even a steak place, and they will have a vegan option. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just growing incredibly in London. Everyone understands veganism now. Even just walking out of the tube, a lot of the restaurants offer a vegan option, which you yeah. don't see in a lot of cities. It says vegan right on the menus, huh? Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. How do you see the future of veganism in London? What do you think is going to happen in the next few years? I think in 50 years time there will be more vegans than non-vegans. Yes, you think so? In yeah. 50 years you'll give it? 50 years. You were recently on the very first all-vegan cruise, as was I. What were your impressions of the vegan cruise? It was absolutely incredible to have over a thousand vegans in one place. Um, everyone just got it. There was just an amazing atmosphere and there were seven course dinners every single night. It was just incredible. Yeah, and I hear there's going to be another vegan cruise next year in Chile. I'm here with a local vegan Londoner. Her name is Shayna. What are some of the highlights from today's and yesterday's event for you? Some of the highlights, definitely the food. There's such an amazing variety of food here. Um, I've been to some really great talks. My favorite one was probably uh, the use of animals in fashion that I heard yesterday. Joshua Catcher, I think, is the name of the guy who gave it. Um, yeah, just enjoying all the great food, me and all my friends here. Very cool. What are you eating right now? 
This is a Chipotle chicken wrap. It's from a new company called Herbivorous. Okay. It's really, really good. I definitely recommend it. Very, very cool. Any other food highlights from today's event? Ooh, I had something called a slut brownie from, I think it's from the Bad Boy Vegan Kitchen, something like that. It was like a brownie with cookie doughs and Oreos in it. Um, yeah, that's what I can remember. For is this your life. first VegFest UK? No, I come every year, every of year. course. I go to all the vegan events. How has it progressed as far as the number of people? Yesterday it was absolutely packed. Today it's packed as well. It's absolutely packed. I think it's getting bigger and bigger every year. It's also getting more diverse, definitely. It used to be just a lot, a lot of cupcakes. Now you've got everything you can think of. So, And uh, diversity in the talks as well. I've been to a few about effective vegan advocacy. That's a topic I'm really interested in. And um, what else? The, the world's strongest vegan man gave a very inspiring talk yesterday. I took some of my non-vegan friends with me to it. Patrick Baboumian? Yes, 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 Patrick, exactly. Yes. So uh, there's some of my favorite talks. Also, Fat Gay Vegan was talking about how to open your own local vegan market, which is something I was considering, so that was interesting as well. What are some of your favorite vegan restaurants in London? So, uh, definitely Loving Heart. The uh, Chinese vegan food in uh, Archway is my favorite branch because that's the closest to me. Um, I love Caramel. That's like a kind of vegan pub food. They do like sausages and mash. They do a Sunday roast. Um, so I love it there. So, uh, Temple of Hackney, that, that food is amazing. Mac and cheese, um, chicken, chicken burgers. Those are probably some of the favorites, yeah. And being a vegan in London, do you notice more vegans around? It seems like there's vegan options at every place that I go, and it says actually vegan on the menu here in London. It's, yeah, it's yeah. crazy, and a lot of places are now coming out with like fully vegan and vegetarian menus, like yes. Wagamama, I tried recently their new uh, vegan menu, and the diner, and places like that. Definitely so many more vegans around in the couple of last couple of years. I feel like it's booming, even in my local area, which is Muswell Hill. Yes. There's, there's new vegan companies popping up all the time, yeah. According to what we see, London is definitely booming. Probably the fastest growing vegan city in the world now. It's really growing quickly. Yeah. Anyway, this is Shayna. I'm Ken Spector with Happy Cow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.